Hi, my name is Nancy here at the Refuge Center. I'm play therapy and parent support. Um, this month is Suicide Prevention Month, so we're going to be talking about how to have those conversations with kiddos. So under the age of seven, you really would just want to keep your answers short and sweet. Let them know that this individual was suffering from an illness or they couldn't get the help that they needed and that you would be able to get them the help if that's ever the case. Um, from ages seven to ten, you want to answer their questions but still keep your answers short and sweet. Um, giving them a little bit more information that if they ever need help, that death is sad and hard and that you would be there to support them and help them if needed. From ages 11 to 14, you really want to check in and, and say like, hey, are you, have you ever had thoughts of suicide? Um, what do you know about suicide and correcting the misinformation that they might have? Some red flags for you to keep in track of is if your kiddos start saying like, life's been really hard, people would be better without me. Um, or a loss of sleep and, and school performance as well, a decrease in that um, could be a warning sign. And if that's the case, we ask that you seek professional help. Um, let your kiddo know that you're gonna support them through this. Um, and remember, talking about suicide does not make it worse. It makes it better by providing a safe environment to do so.